This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shupier You're watching the 4 p.m. stock market update. Uh, we had Basil Chapman and Tim Ord on uh, during the show. If you missed those segments or kind of want to review anything that we went over, make sure to go to Tiger Financial News Network on YouTube. Uh, our producer is hard at work. He's going to get those clips up for you uh, shortly after the end of programming today. If you decide to do that, please consider giving those videos a thumbs up and consider giving our channel a subscribe. Uh, it really helps us out immensely, gets us some more exposure, and we can continue to bring you uh, some good analysis. Okay, let's look what we got going on right now at the end of the day. It composited up about 1.43%. It's a pretty strong market. Dow Jones Industrial up about 1.02. Uh, let's see, you have that E-mini up about 1.22%. Gold contract finishing up about 0.21%. Crude oil kind of strong right now, trading at 72.09. And then the Russell is particularly strong right now, trading up about 1.93%. That's the Russell Futures. Uh, you have the silver up about 1, uh, excuse me, 0.45%. Ooh, let's see. You know, wah, how about Palantir? Now, uh, of course, we had guests on today and they had a lot that they wanted to go over, um, which I love. So tomorrow, what we're going to do is we're going to go over, I have you all to myself, uh, we're going to go over what happened with Palantir, some of their forward uh, looking, we're going to go over what they, basically their earnings, right? Kind of what they said. Uh, it was interesting. We'll kind of compare that to what Meta is doing by allowing uh, them to, uh, by allowing the military essentially to use their Llama uh, AI. It actually is kind of interesting, right? And, and we're going to answer the question and see if we can try to figure out, uh, is that going to directly conflict uh, with Palantir? Uh, so I think it's going to be interesting to see. You have Tesla trading up about 3.44%. I think D DJT uh, was frozen for a little bit. Okay, yeah, I mean... Yeah, that's some pretty good movement to the downside. Closing up about 0.17% right now as it stands. Uh, let's see what else we have. We'll talk about nuclear tomorrow as well. A little bit about FERC's decision. Uh, Amazon's going to continue to stay uh, forward with Talon, trying to figure out if they can build those data centers uh, around uh, the nuclear facilities. Call that co-location in the business, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien. They're going to be uh, joined with uh, Basil Chapman at 10, Steve Rhodes at 11, Larry Pizzavento at 1 p.m., and then I will be with you at 3. We'll see you then.